Good morning, everyone, and um, welcome. <laughs> welcome to another session of reflections. And um, just go ahead and share. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and share. Start a watch party. I want to say a big thank you to every one of you. You've been with me for this um, nearly 100 days. Very soon, it's going to be 100 days. I want to say that I really, really appreciate you. And um, as we, as we, as we march forward to that hundred day, um, I want to assure you that we have some very interesting things lined up. Because when we hit a hundred, we are going to another level. We are going to another level. There are some new things that reflections will begin to do because with God we continue to march forward. So welcome on board. I see all of you coming in. I see Sister Fumi, Sister Buki, Sister. Uh, Sister Stella, Sister Lizzie, go ahead and start that watch party. Go and head, head and hit that, uh, hit that uh, button. Go ahead and begin to invite people on. So today I want to look, this week we are going to be looking at association. Um, when we talk about association, we are also in a way talking about favor. <laughs> we are talking about favor. We are talking about um and when you have association, it also can bring some God incidents into your life. Um, we, in, 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 um, in the, in the non-Christian world, they call it coincidence. Um, no, but we as children of God, there are moments in our life when we have some God incidents. So we are going to be looking at association. We are going to be looking at association uh, this week, and it's going to lead us into things like you know, favor and uh, God incidents. So I was, um, I was looking at, uh, at the Bible and there was a very, very interesting story. It's a story all of us know. Uh, while growing up, we were told this story over and over again. It's the story of Jonah. Um, how God told Jonah, Jonah, go over to Nineveh. And um, Jonah said, I'm not going anywhere, you know, and we do that all the time. Anyway, God tells us to do something. We, we pretend as if we didn't hear him. We pretend as if we don't understand what he's saying. And children do it all the time. When you send them on an errand, the little ones, they pretend as if you are, they don't understand what you are saying. They pretend as if they didn't hear you. So we know that kind of, kind of attitude. So in this case, Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. He had his own agenda. He's like, I, I don't need to go preach to anybody. If they can go to hell, let them go to hell. Um, I, 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 I'm not going to preach to them. Uh, I don't know. He, and sometimes in life, there are some people that have done some things and we just want to see them suffer for what they have done. Um, we are Christians, I know, but sometimes we just want people to, you know, and it's that part of us that um, God has put in us. It's that part of us that is like God, the part that is called justice. We just want them to, we want justice done. So, and sometimes, and God is merciful. So I think there might have been some things with uh, Jonah and the people of Nineveh, or he had had some things about the people of Nineveh, and he just wanted them to suffer for their sin. He said, I I'm not going. So let's turn our Bibles to Jonah this morning. Jonah chapter one. And so, Jonah got into a boat as if he was going to obey God, but he made sure the boat he got into was going in the opposite direction. And God is God. Don't let us ever forget this. God wanted something done. So what did God do? You can't disobey God and get away with it. So God sent a great wind on the sea and there was a mighty tempest on the sea and the ship was about to be broken up. This was the ship that Jonah got into to escape from the errand God had sent him. The Bible says in Jonah chapter 1 verse 5, Then the mariners were afraid, and every man cried out to his God, and threw the cargo that was in the ship into the sea to lighten the load. But Jonah went down into the lowest parts of the ship, laid down, and was fast asleep. So the captain came to him and said, What do you mean, sleeper? Arise, call on your God. Perhaps your God will consider us so that we may not perish. So the person who caused the problem for all the people in the ship went and slept as if nothing was going on. Does that remind you of someone now? 
they cause trouble and they just go on as if they don't know anything about it they couldn't care less all the lives in this boat were in the were in danger of of being lost all these men were in danger of losing their life and the person who brought the evil against them was fast asleep he was fast asleep in the boat the captain went and woke him up and said who are you where are you from and that story goes on and on but finally the long and short of that story is that jonah they discovered was the source of their problem so they took jonah they didn't want to these were very kind sailors but they were forced to so that they could save their own lives they took jonah and they threw jonah into the sea and immediately they threw jonah into the sea peace returned to the boat my question to you this morning who <laughs> who is in your boat who are you associating with who are the people that you have allowed into the boat of your life you are going through some things you need to check your associations whether your associations now or your associations in the past many of us are going through things because of who we have associated with consciously unconsciously willingly unwillingly we need to trace the root of our problem You need to check your association. Check your association. The minute they took Jonah and threw him into the sea, their problem was solved. Some of the things you are going through is because of the associations you have had or you have now. And you need to audit you need to audit them all you need to do an audit of your current association you need to go into the archive of your life and pull out your past associations you need to check who you associated with you need to trace it Some of us have no business passing through what we are passing through. All those men in the ship were innocent. They were innocent. There was no reason for their lives to be in danger. However, there was somebody in the boat with them who had no business being there with them. He had his own issues going on and his own issues were going to impact them people have lost their lives because of who they allowed in their boat people's lives have been destroyed because of who they allowed in the boat of their life a word is enough for the wise so this week we are going to be looking at our associations but an assignment for you today go back and check because even before you come back online tomorrow with me i'm sure you would have taken some measures about some associations in your life and you will be the better for it the ones that need to be thrown into the sea throw them into the sea check them out of your life close the door of access to them so that you can preserve your life the men took a wise decision they said lord if we are doing wrong forgive us but we need to preserve our life they threw jonah into the sea 
and their lives were saved. I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Please, as we approach our 100 day, on Thursday, reflections will be 100 days. Please send me a 16 second video of what reflections has done in your life. Just a 60 second video. I have some powerful testimonies already, but I want to hear yours. Just a 60 second video that we can share of what reflections has meant to you in the journey of the last a little over 90 days. So again, check your associations. I'll see you again tomorrow morning, God willing. It's from Yobilana, Reflections.